Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I wanted to make sure I contact all of the people I'm supposed to contact first because last time I went quick to talk to you guys and did not talk to my family about what, it, what the business was. You need to talk to people who can help you first before you broadcast to the worldwide public. So this is what I'm doing. I wanted to make sure you guys know. I prioritized my family this time, called them, let them know everything there was to tell. So this is what it is. I was able to file the paperwork for the stay of eviction. Tomorrow is the hearing at 1.30. I'll have to make this walk again tomorrow. No problem. I actually like to walk. It's not a problem. It's just hot as heck. But summertime, what do you expect? Basically, honestly, it's all about the prayers now, man. I ain't really got nothing else to do on my end. I've uh, filed all the paperwork. I've made my case for why I need to stay of eviction, which is an extension for upon eviction. Uh, and the understanding of what needs to be done is now in place fully. I know exactly why they have it being the case that if they put the five day notice on your door of course you get five days but if you want to appeal that you only get four i know why that is now it's because you have a whole day that you need to file paperwork and make the appeal and contact the other side some of what needs to be done does they prefer it be done on that day but if you of course do it sooner there will be opportunities uh where they will allow you to do so they let me do that so that was what it was. Initially, homeboy told me, the guy at the self-help desk, he was essentially saying, yo, you can file all of this today if they allow you to, or what they would like you to do is file all of it tomorrow. Uh, fill out most of the paperwork, but all of the fee waivers and stuff like that, anything that would otherwise signify my willingness to have that hearing, they wanted that to be filed at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Problem was, the hearing ain't one till 1 30 so it's like i'm gonna be running around this area in the courthouse for like four hours on one of the most stressful days of my life i don't want to be over here like that i want to sleep in tonight <laughs> you know what i mean i didn't sleep much last night so i definitely don't want that problem tonight uh but um yeah had to file another fee waiver even though it seemed to me that the fee waiver that i was currently on seemed to be okay with the guy who was at the self-help desk he seemed to think that that was the same fee waiver necessary but when i got up to the to the lady that ultimately takes care of that she told me to file another one so i had to kind of go into my accounts and find out what all was there and that was a shell shock <laughs> looking at, at, the, at the amc stock because i hadn't looked at it since they did the uh the stock split and all the other stuff but that thing is so far in the ground you know, you almost want to cry as an ape seeing how how really <laughs> really bad things have gotten for us in this position but it's just one day on the calendar. Tell me what. Call me up when we're three months from now. We'll see where, what the price is on that too. Because that's really what it comes down to. I seen that thing at seventy dollars. I seen that thing at one dollar and thirty cents. So what? What you gonna tell me at this point when it comes to AMC? It ain't nothing they can do that is gonna make me too afraid to either hold on to what I have, what little it is, or to purchase more when I get some money. Ain't nothing they can do. And so that's really what it is. I would rather be more responsible with my money going forward. I ain't gonna be over ever leveraging like I had been. I'm not gonna do that. Especially since I predict they're probably going to do another stock split at some point. They're going to do that. They have to. So that's another reason why people need to just be on their toes. There's a chance it could happen, but there's also a chance you could lose all your money just the same. So it's like any other gamble. Walking past El Super, I don't know if I want anything. I told myself I probably should get some more bananas. But I do have some bananas that are just really, really ripe. And I got a lot of them, so they're going to die before I get to them. But, eh don't care to do that what i do want though is probably some subway or something i'm starving like marvin and even though i need to be saving all of my money for just about everything ahead today i'm probably gonna get myself a subway sandwich down the end of this block right here i just wanted to get myself something to eat man other than the stuff that i've been eating and uh even though my body loves eating healthy i don't particularly like corn and green beans at rice every day it don't taste that good i'm not gonna lie that is exactly what your boy's been eating on a consistent basis just because my body hadn't really been able to digest anything can't refrigerate anything so that's what i found i can actually eat and now potatoes as well of course so baked potatoes gonna be worked into the equation a lot more than them green beans and the corn even though corn is pretty good and green beans are nasty so finding a finding a diet that works for me in the future is what i ultimately am praying for now the lord just give me a fridge Maybe when I get to the next place, have one already equipped. So I ain't got to purchase one. But uh, depending on how long that extension is given, I probably gonna want that fridge before I leave. 
So that's that's where I'm at with that. I'm I'm tired of eating non-refrigerated fruit and non-refrigerated. That's all I really need to cook. Right? <laughs> but I want to cook everything. I want meat, man. I miss making things that have to do with stuff that have to do with uh, refrigeration. So yeah, that's gonna be the next thing I definitely try to do for myself is just get a fridge. Get a fridge. So yeah, man. I don't know. Part of me looks at myself and says I'm pretty dang strong when you consider all the stuff that I'm dealing with and how I'm still chilling as it pertains to my attitude. I think in all the stuff that I've had to ad adapt to in regards to my life, I do want to give myself some credit for that because uh, the skin stuff, allergy stuff, and everything I've been dealing with, the stress, isolation, I still find my way to do what needs to be done when I need to do it. Still find a way. So at this point, I'm just asking though. God above to just say, yo, I'm going to get this guy a fridge. Let me get this guy a little general relief. Let me get this guy his SSI in January so he can just continue on the path that he's been on, trying to be as productive as he can in areas that I have been. So I ain't going to say I'm giving myself flowers, but I can't say I can give myself some credit for just how strong I've been in adapting to everything that's been thrown at me over the past 39 years, <laughs> 39 years. But uh, it's taking its toll on me too, so I got a long way to go. And I want to give credit to the people that have helped cultivate me as well, because I ain't nothing without them. All of them. I ain't nothing without them. And I want to tell everybody how happy I am that my boy Bilski had a healthy baby boy. It's one of my brothers. You know, it's important that we always celebrate the good things. And I've been praying a lot for my brother Bilski's baby ever since I found out he was having a baby, his lady was having a baby. He's been on that prayer list. Any, he was on the prayer list anyway. But I put the baby on the prayer list. It's like I do a lot of times when babies are being cultivated. And little man was born a couple days ago healthy. And I'm telling you, man, we love him. We love him to death. So I want Bilski to know that, man. Shout out to the Bilski family. My brother, Phil Bilski. And his new seed, man. Nothing but love. And also my niece, Lisa. Her baby's coming. So I'm sending prayers to her. We pray for that one every day as well. We expanding the family. Both my physical blood family and my extensive spiritual friendship family that knows no end to the love I have for them and I don't think I've said that enough on this camera I got some good friends that I ain't been good friend to but I want y'all to know that they are good friends just in case they friends to you do them right real talk so that's what I gotta say man I ain't nothing without my friends man the credit I get for the strength I have comes from the people that have loved me and have carried me through my trials as I bump my head thousands of times they pick me up you understand what I'm saying? They pick me up, man. My boy Tito picked me up every time I found myself in situations like this. My uncle picked me up every time I found myself in situations like this. My grandfather, same thing. My mom, same thing. They all helped me, help myself in ways that I could not do without their support. And this, in this moment, you best believe this is one of them moments for me. This is the worst one, arguably. And look, the sad thing is, nobody will ever noticed really but y'all. But all I really wanted to do with AMC is have enough money to be able to take care of all these people. I kid you not. That's what I'm dreaming of. Now, granted, the selfishness that I found is in myself may get greedy once I had that money, which is why I'm glad that God ain't gave it to me. And I recognize that selfishness ain't quite out of my system. But my intentions, while I don't have it, is to part with it responsibly to help cultivate my family in ways that only I've been able to dream about. That's what I want it for. And I think that's what a lot of us want money for. I think about a guy like Dame Lillard who took the biggest contract he could in his time. And you think about he wanted to get that money to his kids. It's like, well, damn, I got to look at it like that. I got to look at it like that. Like, wow, the generational wealth that you can help others with. It really is worth some of the stuff that people do. Not everything. But some of the stuff. If my reputation is bad and I took it there to get a lot of money. I'm, some people think it makes sense to have their reputation be bad. So that that money can help others. And they'll pay up, they'll make up for it on the other side. So, do I want that? I'm walking past Subway now. I don't know if I actually want it. Thinking about how my body gonna digest all that bread and some of the mayonnaise and stuff. I can't eat that stuff, but I know it. I know I can't eat it. My body's not gonna digest it properly. <laughs> Get all the way down here with the intentions and then realize, nah, it ain't gonna work. But I do wanna buy something for myself and it ain't gonna walk all the way to freaking Wingstop today. I ain't doing that. Wingstop is like still an hour away down in the sun, straight to the sun. I am not doing it. I think Subway probably does make the most sense, to be honest with you. When I look around at what's near me, and I look around at a Burger King over there, 
Not a Yoshinoya over there. I'm not a Yoshinoya guy. How about I step in that barf that I saw last time walking up this way? I just smelled it. And now I remember it. I hope I ain't stepping in. But yeah, man, that's where we at. That's where we at. Yeah, I'm thankful. I'm beyond thankful. The God that I serve is a good God, man. He's giving me all the opportunities I need to just get over myself. And ultimately, opportunities will open from there. But we got to overcome our own stupidity, I guess is the word I use. I go to Subway. I'll just do it anyway. We got to overcome that, own, that, that stupidity that ultimately coerces you into comfort zones that ultimately doesn't serve you any because some comfort zones are going to make you uncomfortable at the end of the day. So that's what I have to say, man. Headed in the Subway. I'm going to grab something to eat and hopefully not sweat all over these people when I'm handing them my money or whatever because, God, I'm sweating. But uh, that's what I got, man. Of course, I may come back and give you another therapy session. I planned on continuing this one, but I ain't going to do it while I'm in that store. So that's what it is, man. BDL 44. Thank you all for watching.